right, so welcome everyone um, to the uh, opening session of the Wikidata 30 Lexico Days. Um, so this is a series of events and uh, challenges and collaborative work that is um, focused on lexicographical data on Wikidata. And it's the first time that we do something like this. It's really exciting and I already got um, so much positive feedback on it. And um, the opening session today is basically going to be about um, explaining you a bit how it's going to work, showing you the different resources that um, you're going to have if you want to um, if you want to work with us on this. Um, and I'm going to start right away with showing you the main page of the event. So here's the page um, that Nicola already linked in the in the comments, where you can find the different um, explanations on how this is going to work. So a little introduction. Um, the Lexico days are uh, going to run from now uh, up to April 14th, so four weeks um, of uh, things, exciting things that are going to happen uh, around lexicographical data. Uh, you can find information on how to participate. You can find all the links that I'm going to show a bit more in details now. Um, the links to the discussion page, the Telegram group, where you can find uh, some other people to talk to and work with if you want to. And I'm going to say it straight now. Um, the whole event and all of its components, the sessions and so on, um, and the presentations are covered by the Code of Conduct for Technical Spaces. You can also find a link here. And um, if you encounter any issue or if you don't feel comfortable or if something um, goes wrong, feel free to contact me or to contact directly the Code of Conduct Committee. Um, all the contact details are um, on the page. So I'm going to start with the um, resources that you can find in case you um, are not very familiar with lexicographical data on Wikidata. The 30 lexico days are going to be, I would say, events that are quite straight to the point and focus on um, on the contribution and documentation and so on. Um, so if you're new to the topic, don't be afraid, but maybe it's good that you have a look at what we already have as resources for uh, lexicographical data. So you, um, on the resources section, I started listing a few help pages or videos. We have quite a few uh, good videos that are explaining what is lexicographical data on Wikidata, how do we model words and phrases and languages on Wikidata, you can have a look. And of course, um, if you know more, you can definitely edit this section and um, add more links. Um, and also, when we're going to start improving the documentation, which is one of the other goals of the event, um, we can also add this um, documentation here. So during these four weeks, um, we're going to have a lot of um, events that are happening and they are also listed here on this beautiful table. So you can see uh, we're going to have some open discussions about lexicographical data in various languages. We're going to have some Sparkle queries live. We're going to have uh, some live editing. We're going to have next week the Wikidata bug triad hour where um, Lydia and I are going to go through fabricator tasks. Um, and try to improve the descriptions and see how we can move forward with this task on the topic of lexicographical data. We're going to have some documentation Q&As that Dan um, is going to talk about later. Uh, we're going to have a presentation about Lingua Libre, and we're also going to have other things that are not yet listed um, in this table, but I can already mention is that we're going to have some um, Q&A about abstract Wikipedia uh, to understand better how this new project in the Wikimedia movement is going to be connected to Wikidata and Lexemes. We are going to be having um, a panel with um, different people who have been um, importing data on Wikidata, specifically about Lexemes. This is also going to be scheduled um, very soon, I hope. So a lot of interesting things. And the important part of this is that this program is not set in stone. It's not even like the definitive program, um, because basically everyone is very welcome to add um, new things in there. So whenever you have an idea for a discussion, for a session that you would like to organize, um, a specific topic that you would like to present, um, you can add this new entry in the table. 
if you have a tool that you already like to use, for example, I know that some people are familiar with Twitch or with YouTube Live or so on, you can use it. And if you don't know exactly what uh, to use or if you want um, a call where you can just chat with people like we're doing now, you can use this very Jitsi room in which we are now that is also linked here um, on the page. Just make sure that there is not something else happening. Um, we have four full weeks to run this event, so I hope that we're not going to have two overlapping sessions. And of course, uh, feel very free to schedule the things in the time zone that is uh, convenient for you. On the table, I'm entering the time zone in uh, UTC or GMT with a link to this website that is giving you the time zone in your um, area. And for now, of course, we have a lot of things that are uh, convenient for Europe because a lot of them are things that um, I uh, organize oh. from here, from Berlin. But of course, if you're living somewhere else, it's absolutely fine to schedule things um, at other times. And it's going to help the event being even more diverse by being accessible from all the different time zones around the globe, because that's the fun of uh, online events. So um, if you're having an idea or if you like to work on something, but you're not sure yet, what you can also do is enter your ID in this um, pad that we have here that is also linked from the main page, um, in which we started listing all kinds of things that we would like to talk about. Um, and also the projects that we would like to work on during this um, four weeks, um, the ideas of documentation pages that we would like to improve and so on. So feel free to enter your ideas here and also feel free to contact um, the other uh, participants either on Wiki or in the Telegram group to get some help to maybe make your idea become real, organize your session if you need any help. Of course, you can also reach out directly to me I added um, my contact info on the page as well. Um, if you need any help to just like figure out the tools, schedule, maybe you need some moderation for your discussion, um, we can definitely find some, uh, some possibilities here. So these are for the events that are happening during the month. And on top of that, um, we would like to encourage you to work on uh, tasks or topics that are interesting for you related to lexicographical data. And in order to coordinate that um, a bit better, we created a Fabricator board that is here, in which um, you will find some very simple structure with all the tasks in the backlog for now. Um, <clears throat> If you're not um, familiar to Fabricator, I also li uh, linked uh, the help page, the main help page in the resources that I mentioned before. Uh, once you have your account and everything, you can create your a new task here by clicking here and creating a new task and then starting entering all the information. If you already know existing tasks that you would like to be added on this board, you can also edit the task directly and add the tag um, Wikidata Alexico Days 2021. And then whenever um, we are starting working on a task, we can move it directly from here to in progress, for example. You can also move it to the column blocked and need help. And uh, you can also have a look in this column if other people would need some help. And of course, in the task itself, it would be great if you give a bit more information about what is to be done. Uh, maybe in the comments, you can also add some more information about what's happening. Are you working on it at the moment? What's the progress? What are the useful links? And so on and so on. So other people can also follow what's happening. So in order to um, reach out to other people, we have several options. On the page, you can find a link to the Telegram group. That is not mandatory, of course, but if you're already using Telegram, I think it's a pretty good place to be. Uh, we're not going to discuss only about uh, 30 lexical days. It's a general Telegram group about lexicographical data where you can find the 60 something for now people that are interesting on the topic and that are talking about how they model data all the time. Um, and there is also, I linked to the main discussion page of um, the uh, lexicographical data project, kind of, because this is where most of the discussions are happening at the moment, and I would like to keep it on one place. But if you want to talk about the event specifically or the organization of the event or just 
um, talk to me, you can also go to the talk page of the 30 Lexicodase page. It's also possible. About this page, I wanted to mention something that I think is important, is that whenever we are having important discussions, and I hope that we're going to have many uh, during these uh, during this month of lexicographical data, whenever we're having discussions or maybe even making important decisions for the project, maybe about the modeling of the data, maybe about the tools that we want to have and so on, it would be awesome if this information would not uh, remain only in the calls that we're going to have or on Telegram, because if we do that, the information may be lost at some point. Um, and we are, with all of the different channels that are happening, we are kind of creating some silos and the information is not always accessible for everyone when the idea is to have the information accessible on Wiki. So whenever we're talking about something important, um, I would like to encourage you to either leave a message on this page or maybe even improve the um, documentation pages directly on the project page. I think that would help a lot people people who cannot attend to this event, basically, or people who would just join later later to understand a bit better um, what's happening. And improving this project page and its documentation is actually one of the projects of the 30 Lexico days. So ho hopefully, at the end of the event, we're going to end up with um, even better documentation than what we have now. Um, and speaking of documentation, I would like to introduce you to Dan. Um, who is going to uh, work with us with uh, documentation during the Lexico days. Hey, everybody. I hope you guys can hear me OK. My name is Dan Schick. I am the technical writer for Wikimedia Deutschland. Uh, you, we probably don't know one another, so it's, it's nice to see you all. I hear chats coming in, but I won't be able to look at them while I'm blathering away here. <clears throat> so my role, as uh, Leah has already pointed out, is to uh, to help get some documentation uh, written, improved on lexicographical data, and I'm really looking forward to seeing some more lines appear on the resources page there uh, on that column. Um, and uh, as you may see on the fabricator board, um, I'm really glad there's a fabricator board so we can track our work. Um, there's already a few documentation tasks there. Um, and they're not owned by anyone. They're in the backlog. Um, so I have gone in there and tried to um, add a few outlines, um, just very simple outlines. Um, it depends on, uh, um, I'm not sure how many of you have written technical documentation before, possibly all of you, but uh, not knowing who I'm working with and because there may be many other people besides those uh, on this uh, meeting who have never written documentation before, I thought it'd be nice to give you something to just sink your teeth into. Uh, I find outlines helpful um, for uh, to, to approach those tasks. Uh, and of course, there'll be more tasks to come. Um, so I recommend that if you see a task about a particular piece of documentation and it appeals to you, um, feel free to grab it and assign it to yourself. Um, I'll be there to offer uh, editorial help um, and general writing advice. Um, and I encourage you very strongly to uh, uh, to to take a task if you feel that you can say something intelligent about uh, lexicographical data because we need we need more docs there. Um, I'm very excited about seeing more stuff there. Um, and uh, um, if you want to get in touch with me, there are a bunch of ways. Um, there is uh, I have uh, some technical writing documentation um, or technical writing resources I should say on my user page, uh, which uh, which I'll put in the chat after I'm done blathering here. Um, uh, you may be familiar with some of them, uh, but uh, I think that uh, uh, possibly the most important thing you can have um, when you're trying to write technical documentation is good examples. There are plenty of good examples on MediaWiki, but there's also tons of good examples elsewhere, and so those will be linked on a couple of the links that I have in there. Uh, and um, for particular tasks, if you have a question regarding documentation, um, feel free to at me in the Fabricator task. I'll be Keep an eye on that. You can also try to uh, ping me on Telegram. I'm not much on Telegram, but if you at me there, I will uh, I will respond. Or on talk pages, as long as you at me, I will uh, I will show up and try to answer any documentation question that I can. Um, also, um, not yet on my user page because I haven't done it yet, uh, but soon I will be making a very brief presentation on good documentation. 
Um, and that will be a little video uh, that will, uh, a link to which will appear on my user page. I strongly recommend viewing that if you are uh, new to this process. And finally, um, I will be holding office hours um, if you have any documentation questions. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, I am anticipating uh, a lot of questions. Uh, it may be that you, uh, that you don't have any questions to ask, but if you do, I encourage you to ask them. Uh, there's no such thing as a stupid question. It's not just a cliche. Um, and those office hours, um, Leah and I have varied them a little bit to accommodate different time zones, and they are also listed on the um, listed on the uh, uh, on the event list. Um, and I'll be hanging out there for an hour uh, each of each of those uh, once a week uh, for an hour apiece, um, ready to answer any questions I possibly can. Um, yeah, and uh, that about does it for me. I'll throw it back to Leah now. Awesome. Thanks a lot. And um, I think this is um, the end of our little introduction. So thanks a lot for watching and have a lot of fun at the, during the 30 Lexico date.